In this video, I will show how to use PSPICE for simulation of transformer because when you see that you are in need of a transformer in PSPICE, you often will face some problems that is you will not be able to simulate the transformer of necessity. So today we'll see some ideas about how to use a transformer in PSPICE. Let's begin with it. So I have a design that is uh, say for example my primary divided by secondary turns ratio is equals to 23.21 so I need to design a similar type of transformer in PSPICE so in order to do that I'm going to use the linear transformer in the library so there is an equation for transformer that says the turns ratio primary divided by the secondary turns ratio is equals to root over the inductances okay so why I'm showing this to you guys is when you will enter the PSPICE library and implement the linear transformer there you will have to put the L1 and L2 that means inductance values rather than the turns values N1 and N2 so we need to find the L1 and L2 in order to do that what you need to know is you already have seen that I have found this value to be 23.21 in my design say an example you may have different values see that I have this value here right here okay so if I square it it is something like this so L1 divided by L2 L1 is the primary side inductance whereas L2 is the secondary side inductance so L1 becomes 23 into okay something like this into l2 so we'll be in need of taking a value for l2 you can assume so you can take like 10 hundred milli henry say for example so let's just take a hundred milli henry here okay so we'll be getting the l1 as well in the milli henry so let's now do some simple calculation so there was a square here not to forget this one so let's do a simple calculation here okay 23.21 times 23.21 so this is the square part that I'm, I'm talking about so taking 100 milli so just multiplying it by 100 gives you somewhat this amount of milli henry okay for l1 value okay so if I write it down 53870 so let's convert it into milli henry okay so divide with thousand okay divide with thousand so 53.87 okay 53.87 henry this is the 53.87 now let's try to implement these things that I have shown you here you can see here so in order to implement the linear transformer let's go to the get new part and you'll find at the lowest position the X form linear or you can go to the libraries then select the analog one not the first but the second one and go to the lowest portion and you'll find x form linear okay so place and close say for example something like this okay so we'll be needing a source say for example a v sign maybe as source okay uh, all right now oh, there's that and a load maybe okay resistance r so it is something like this let's see just rotate it by pressing ctrl r so something like this right so it's pretty simple you can see let's just uh, make a zoom okay so now just let's connect these things and let's see what happens actually 
whether we can actually successfully simulate the transformer of our necessity so see that this l1 and l2 values and there is a thing called coupling in the transformer this coupling is k in the theory you have seen the parameter k this is a coupling factor uh, so the maximum value is 1 it means that 100% uh, of the flux induced in the primary will be induced in the secondary so for ideality we take it as 1 we are considering the transformer to be ideal and uh, so the L1 and L2 values so we have taken the L2 as 100 milli henry as you can recall so 100 milli henry is actually 0.1 0.1 Henry so just giving it 0.1 and this was 53 point uh, forgot that value 53.87 Henry okay 53.87 Henry okay so that's done uh, you do not need to change any more values just press ok okay so you're done with the transformer now let's set the sinusoidal input so just uh, we need to set the amplitude say for example so the ratio is 232 right so if i give a 232 volt uh, amplitude in the primary side it will reduce down to actually 10 volts right so if i give to 23.2 it should reduce down to 1 so 232 should reduce down to 10 volts in the uh, secondary side so let's say 50 hertz so there is no offset so zero you do not need to set the dc and ac values just leave it there okay so this is a simple setup but in proteus you need to set the ground reference for that just click here and select the ground reference you may find this in the port uh, so you'll be needing the ground earth so okay so place and close the ground earth so there is like two of them there so i don't need uh, Okay, need a refresh okay okay now this is okay so this looks good let's see what happens let's save this one okay let's set up the profiles i need the dc value so just uh, dc values will be zero because this is an ac thing you can easily understand that right so let's put this here at the primary and at the secondary two voltage i want to see this two voltage right this primary and this secondary okay now everything looks good let's see what happens so bias point whatever and transient analysis i need to set it so say for example i want to see one second okay let's see one second it's good enough okay transient let's close it and now save it and now let's run the simulate by pressing this button here let's see what happens whether it runs or not see that there are some errors that has popped up that there is a uh, saying that uh, something node 0002 and 0001 is floating okay it is actually because uh, you need to actually put the secondary side to the same uh, source level because there is no connection there uh, this is the problem that happens often so in order to solve this problem you can actually put a big very big resistor or impedance in between the primary and secondary so that your circuit result won't be affected so put a very large resistor a very large resistor so the value say for example uh, let's uh, say 10 mega so 1000 kilo is 1 mega so 10,000 kilo is 10 mega so 10 mega it is uh, 10 mega and just connect this in between the primary and the secondary so now let's save it and now let's again simulate this thing let's see whether there is any floating things going on or see that voltage source and or inductor loop involving v underscore v1 so there is an error again so in order to solve this problem what are you going to do is you are going to we are going to introduce another resistance here so let's delete this uh, wire right here do this thing okay so we need to be very sure of it that this resistor shouldn't consume too much of the voltage 
so let's keep this value to be very minimum like point 0.1 just okay point 0.1 so uh, now let's try to simulate this thing hopefully this time it will uh, run hopefully see save this thing and then simulate so see that the values occurs these all values are in DC and obviously in AC signal there won't be any DC values so this means we have successfully actually simulated the transformer now see the output here okay so and this is 200 mark and this is like 220 so it's 232 so the put is this the output is uh, should be around 10 volt right so let's see whether it is actually 10 volt or not let's check it so okay okay now let's this is good so let's uh, use this parameter to trace the values probe cursor so okay now this is the see that if you press this one now it is showing the output value of the peak value is uh, around 9.5 most probably okay check it correctly so uh, if I move the cursor around a bit so this is the peak this is the peak so 9.7 where 9.75 where it should be 10 volt so it's pretty close so this is how we can actually simulate a ideal transformer in Peace spice. Thank you.